Well, hey, JC Kids families, this is Jeff, and welcome to the JC Kids COVID 19 update. Well, I hope that you are doing well at home right now. I wanted to come and give you a little bit of an update. If, in case you're not aware, Governor Hogan came out yesterday, Friday, and uh, gave his three phase plan to get Maryland safely back opened up in the uh, in the wake of the COVID-19 situation that we have going on. Uh, you might be wondering, what does that have to do with Journeys Crossing? What does that have to do with uh, are my kids and their kids ministry? And I know as a church, uh, we're going to have all kinds of information coming to you in the coming weeks and days about what that means for us. But I wanted to come and give you just a little bit of an update about what that means for JC Kids. So uh, it, as you are probably aware, Governor Hogan announced yesterday that we're not quite into phase one of that program yet. He's hoping that early May will be when we actually kick off phase one. So right now we're in pre-phase one of his plan. And so you might be going, well, what does that mean? What does pre-phase one mean? Well, for JC Kids, it means three things. And two of them are things that we're already doing. And one of them is new. And I'm excited to share that one with you. So the first part of that plan is pray. That is something that I've been doing, JC Kids team members have been doing for you and your family all along in this pandemic. I am praying that you stay healthy. That's uh, definitely an important thing that we all pray for. And I'm praying that uh, during this time when we're home a lot and we're seeing a lot more of each other, that God is using that uh, in your lives to draw you closer together as a family, no matter the size or shape or flavor of your family, God is drawing you closer together and closer to him during this time. So that's a, 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 a almost everyday prayer of mine for you and your families. Uh, also that you're uh, able to continue leading your kids on their journey and guiding them so that, that they can find Jesus and learn what it means to follow him. So, so we're praying that and more for you. And it's not just me. It's our, our JC Kids team as well. They're all involved in that. Where It's an honor that we have to partner with you that way. Which brings me to the second P in our plan. And I'm a pastor, so I had to alliterate it, right? Uh, so not only are we praying, but we're partnering with you. We're going to continue during this pre-phase one time to give you all the great content that you've come to expect. So that means we've got Kids Church on Sunday morning for your K through fifth graders. And even some of your younger kids might enjoy that as well. We have pre-K content coming out every Monday and most Wednesdays for them. We've got uh, small group application content and family application content coming out uh, three or four times a week, sometimes even more for your elementary kids as well. All throughout the week, almost every day, we've got something out there for your kids to experience, uh, to really guide them on that journey to find Jesus and follow him. We're honored that you've allowed us to partner with you in that journey that your kids are on. So you can expect all of that great content to continue. None of it will stop here in pre-phase one. The third one I want to make you aware of, and this is the one that I'm really excited about, is prepare. One of the things I talked to my team about earlier this week is it's time to begin to prepare. As we walk through these phases, certainly phase three is where he opens up large church gatherings. Uh, phase two, he actually opens up some smaller church gatherings, gatherings of probably 50 people or less, which might mean that we can do some kids' church stuff even before the adults get back uh, into doing their services in the auditorium. So we've got a whole lot to prepare to do that, though, because we want to prepare to do that with your kids' safety in mind. So uh, my t I, I just began to ask my team to brainstorm. They've begun to do that. They've begun to flood me with some really great questions, some of which I had already been thinking through, some of which I hadn't yet. How do we check in safely? How do we set kids' church up to uh, have distancing? How do we, you know, how do we do kids church with only large group? Because we won't be able to meet in small groups at first, we suspect. All kinds of questions. Uh, my team is set to meet in a couple of weeks to really begin to uh, get answer some of those questions for ourselves together. Uh, we don't want to wait to the last minute and go about it quickly uh, and haphazardly in ways that we might miss some important safety features. So we're starting right now to prepare to safely bring your kids back into the building at the appropriate time designated by the governor. One thing I want to encourage you on in all of this is something you can do to prepare, and that is 
uh, we certainly, throughout all of these phases, we're going to need to wear masks. So uh, if you haven't done so already, you want to find some masks out there for your kids that are going to be comfortable for them and that they're going to keep on their faces. Uh, personally, oh, I, I, I understand the importance of them. I don't like them. They're uncomfortable to me. So uh, I just actually ordered kind of a face scarf, like a like a like they make them for bicyclists, so they're not uh, inhaling bugs while they're riding their bicycles. Uh, I think that'll be a little more comfortable for me. You know your kids best. You know what they will wear. Some of them might wear just some of the masks that everyone seems to be wearing right now, and some of them might rip those things off at the first opportunity. So. Uh, we're going to uh, have a stock of those at Journey's Crossing when we begin to reopen for folks who need them. But uh, I would encourage you to right now hit Amazon, find whatever you think the comfortable mask your kid will wear in public and get that ordered up. It's taken some time to get some of those things in. Mine will be in, I think, two weeks. Uh, but that would be something that you could do to prepare to have your kids uh, back with others when the governor deems that appropriate. So... Uh, so right now, just to recap, we are praying for your kids and your family. We are uh, putting out material to partner with you on their journey to find and follow Jesus. And we are preparing to be as safe as we can possibly be uh, when the time comes for us to open the doors to your kids again. Uh, again, I hope your family is doing well. Uh, it's, uh, today is Saturday when I'm recording this. It's a beautiful day outside. I hiked about four miles this morning. I hope you'll be able to get outside. Enjoy the fresh air a little bit. Stay safe. Do everything the governor tells you to do, but uh, get outside and, and soak in uh, some, of, uh, some of the wonders of creation today. Can't wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.